Imagine it's 2003. You are in the Midwestern United States. And suddenly, mysterious illnesses appear. Fever, rash, swollen lymph nodes. Doctors are confused. These symptoms look a lot like monkeypox. But monkeypox doesn't exist in the Americas, right? Well, until that moment, it didn't. Here's what happened. A shipment of exotic animals from Ghana arrived in the U.S. Among them were Gambian pouched rats, large rodents with big eyes, and even bigger personalities. These rats were carrying the monkeypox virus. In U.S. pet stores, they were housed near prairie dogs, popular pets at the time. The prairie dogs became infected. People adopted them, cuddled them, and soon, humans became infected too. By the end of the outbreak, 47 confirmed cases were reported across several states. Fortunately, no deaths occurred, thanks in part to strong healthcare systems and quick public health responses. But the message was clear. Monkeypox was no longer confined to a single continent. It had proven it could travel. It had proven it could adapt.